Really, our, our goal in diagnosing diabetes is to prevent complications to, to the body by keeping blood sugar down, keeping cholesterol down, keeping blood pressure down, avoiding smoking. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, avoid any of the, these complications over a patient's, patient's lifetime. Diabetes is a series of diseases uh, involving uh, high blood sugar that can affect the body over many years, leading to different complications, including eye disease, kidney disease, nerve disease, and heart disease. Type 1 diabetes, which is somewhat less common, is due to an immune reaction of the body against the part of the pancreas that makes insulin. The most common uh, form of diabetes is type 2 diabetes. Uh, this comprises about 90% of people with, uh, with, with uh, diabetes and involves both a combination of resistance to insulin in different organs of the body as well as a deficiency of insulin. For, for type 2 diabetes, uh, a combination of genetics and environment may be uh, involved. Um, type 2 diabetes is very commonly f uh, familial from generation to generation and may be brought out uh, by aspects of diet and weight gain uh, over a period of time. It's thought that uh, certain aspects of diet may put, uh, may increase risk for type 2 diabetes, such as uh, increase increase in sugar-sweetened beverages in adolescence. Many patients with diabetes don't have any particular symptoms at, their, at the start of the disease. When blood sugars get very high, people may have symptoms including fatigue, uh, increased thirst, increased urination, or uh, different types of infections. I follow many patients who have, that I've worked with in terms of medical weight loss uh, who have been able to normalize their blood sugars. Families that have a history of, uh, of diabetes in one of the, one of the relatives, uh, it's important to, for a child or a young adult to uh, avoid weight gain over time. Uh, An increased level of physical activity by itself may actually lower the risk for getting type, type 2 diabetes. If a patient is diagnosed with diabetes, they would um, meet with a dietitian. They would also meet with a certified diabetes educator uh, who would go over all different aspects of monitoring diabetes as well as different options for treatment. Lifestyle is a very important part of treatment of all types of, of diabetes. Uh, if blood sugars do not come into range with lifestyle, uh, there are a number of medications that may be used uh, for, for treatment. In type 2 diabetes, the medications that are used include both pills as well as medications which need to be injected. Um, one of the uh, key medications that is injected for treatment of any type of diabetes is insulin. The medication metformin is the most common oral medication that is used for type 2 diabetes. It's important for a patient with diabetes to have a team, including their primary care doctor, their endocrinologist, as well as uh, you know, specialists if, if needed. After an initial evaluation, I will uh, fax a report directly back to the primary care doctor. So changes to uh, medications may be made by any, any part of the team. So the communication between the primary care doctor uh, and the diabetes team uh, becomes extremely important. At Tufts Medical Center, we do have a diabetes clinic, uh, which includes uh, physicians and certified diabetes educators. Um, Patients may also see dietitians at the Francis Stern Nutrition Center. They um, may also, on uh, the same day, see other specialists within the center 
uh, to help uh, coordinate you know, overall care since diabetes care can sometimes get fairly complex.